what are some ways that you can accelerate your journey right now? Let's just hit it. One. One way. The first way. Uh, a very important way. Stop believing other people about your life. Stop giving people's opinion of your life power. They don't know. They have no idea what you can achieve, what you can accomplish. If, you're keep, if you keep going in the same direction as the crowd, then you're going to get the same result as the crowd. This is a journey of, of breaking out exploring on your own, going on your own adventure. That generally doesn't take place following the masses. This is your story. You write it. If you're going to believe everyone that tells you that you can't have something or that you can't do something, then that's the result. Right? You have this desire in your heart for your twin flame because God put it there. Who knows better? Who do you choose to listen to? Some random person on YouTube that is telling you that you can't have your what's in your heart? Or God? Who do you choose to listen to? Very simple concept. What is your choice? Number two. Stop wasting your time. Stop sitting in your upsets. Heal it. Identify it. Heal it. Move on from it. Don't think, take things personally. Right? Like, if you shit your pants, you're not going to you're not going to sit in it for the whole day. You're probably going to change your pants. Same thing. If you have an upset, identify it, heal it, move on from it. You don't crawl up in a ball and in the corner of the room, uh, you know, shaking and crying for a few days or a week or however however long same thing identify it heal it move on from it don't take it personally this is not they're not doing anything personally to harm you or hurt you they're doing this they're showing you they're revealing to you where you are hurt inside where you are not loving yourself inside, within yourself. They're showing you this because they hurt there too. They're revealing this to you so that you can take care of it. So just take care of it. Don't sit and shit. Unless, you, unless that's something that you really want to do. But there's probably a rash involved somewhere. So... Yeah. Number three, if you hate your life, that's a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. Bunch of stuff in your life you don't like or you don't want. Mm-hmm. I would say that's not very good. I would say that you're out of alignment with what you really want, what you really desire. So get in alignment. What do you really want? What is it that you truly want for yourself, for your life? Align yourself with those desires. Take the necessary, the necessary steps to... Start changing, making changes in your life where you need to. 
That's all about sharpening your skills. It's all about creating the life that you want to live. Because, little newsflash for you, you don't have to suffer. You don't. It's crazy. Some of you like it. That's... Anyway, start doing that. Start taking steps to change what is in your life that you want differently. Sharpen your skills. Find out what your passion is, what your passions are, and take the go in the direction of living those passions. That is going to that is what's going to create more joy and start creating and drawing in more of the things that you want that you desire. Keep that on the down low, though, because you don't want everybody doing this. Number four, you may have people in your life that are counterproductive to what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. You don't have to stand for that shit. I'm not saying to go key their car or egg their house, but you don't have to put up with someone else's criticisms or involvement in your life if it is counterproductive to what your desires are, if it is misaligned with you, right? There's a difference here, big, big difference between your twin flame who is giving to you they're giving you love. They're giving you and showing you where in your existence, in your experience, you're out of alignment with loving yourself. How that, has, how that is occurring is the most appropriate way for you to realize what it is that is out of alignment within yourself. They are giving you that. There's a difference between your twin and, and other people in your life that are just taking from you or just want to control you. It is those people that you are most benefited from of maybe removing them from your life, maybe putting up a boundary, maybe telling them how it is or that you know you you don't care what they think whatever needs to happen for you to go in in the direction of what your goal is what your goals are then that's the direction you take number 5 are you acting like a little kid. <laughs> oh, God. This is the best one. Go through your day and notice where you are, how you're acting, what your interactions are. Do you want to just be a pouty little boy or girl? Or do you want to throw a tantrum? I'm not saying that you do. Notice throughout your day how certain things make you feel. Does your boss say, I need, I need this done by a deadline, and it's not possible, and you just want to, you know, you just want to crawl under your desk and be pouty. How immature is that? Be mature. Have a... You may not want to do things, and that's okay. And you, or you might like not like certain things, and that's okay. But how do you respond to that? What's your response? You want to th flail all over on the ground? Or do you want to... Somebody does something, you just want to lash out at them? 
or you want to blame somebody or you want to, um, you know, like I'd go on the offense and be like, you know, well, you no, know, you are. <laughs> no, you are. Mm. Well, your hair is stupid, right? How are you? How are you approaching situations in your life? Where is your maturity level? What's going on there? Really dive into the occurrences throughout your day and and take an honest look at how you're acting. Really be honest there. Right? If you were face to face with your twin and they did something to trigger you, because that will absolutely happen, would you like get all mad and take all your toys and go home? You know, determine for yourself if your level of maturity is where it needs to be to be with your twin flame right now. And if it's not, then that's okay. That's something that you're working toward. But Don't get pouty because they're not there. Have a, have a true understanding of where you are in this journey. And just keep moving forward. Number six. You don't know. You don't know. Everyone loves saying that. I don't know. I don't know. But you don't. And that's okay. Because God does. And that's it. Faith. Have that faith. And surrender that God is taking care of it. That God will provide you the necessary knowledge along the way to knowing what to do. To provide the necessary occurrences and instances for you to take advantage of, for you to take action in. And it's okay if if you're presented with something and it and you make you know you make a mistake. It's okay. You're not there's nothing lost. You'll just be presented with a different chance to do it. Have that faith. Surrender to that infinite knowledge, that divine infinite knowledge. That is God. You don't have to worry that you missed an opportunity. Because there's an immeasurable, unlimited amount of opportunities and ways that you get another shot. And you can't fail. You will not fail if you keep moving forward. So, I don't know, is a good response. You don't know. You don't know everything God knows. Maybe you don't know what to do next, but you will be given that if you allow it to come to you. So, if you need any help, through any of these steps or stages that uh, you're not sure of, or you don't know how to do it, or you're not, uh, you're just stuck, or you're spinning your wheels, go down to the description box down below, click on the link, www.asoneguidance.com. Just visit my website. See, there's a lot of content on there that can help you through and you know, give you knowledge to what is going on. And I will see you next time.